kings, queens, and non-binary monarchy, and a quick shout out to all my maesters. If you're not a maester and like to become one, just go down below and hit subscribe. While you're there, go ahead and turn on the notification bell so that way you get notified whenever I post a video. So, quick little disclaimer, yes, this video has a different background than last week's video, but that is because I can't find a background that doesn't make me look like washed out and weird, and I promise I don't look this like greasy in real life, and my hair isn't even this dark, I don't know. My lighting is not being nice to me today, but today I feel figured because my hair is like weird and like kind of straight today which is weird thanks a lot Texas humidity but I figured I would do my fa five favorite hairstyles and some of these I don't really do myself but I think they look so good on other people and hopefully this will give y'all some hairstyle inspiration so let's get right into the video let's go Okay, so the first one we're going to call it the Shelby because my friend Shelby came over today and she did her hair like this and I really liked it. But first off, we're going to middle part your hair. I know some of y'all, it's gonna be so hard to middle part it. Um, I know apparently you can't side part your hair anymore. My hair naturally side parts. So life is great. But we're going to start off by middle parting our hair and then take the first section like right here and then you're going to cut it like not cut it actually please don't actually cut your hair for this but and then you're going to take so you have this first little section of hair okay so then after you have smoothed it out you are going to just take a hair tie whatever you tie your hair with i just use ponytail holders slash hair elastics just the little black ones these things and you're going to tie it up like this don't forget to floof then braid your tail. Okay, so after you've braided your tail, I know mine is kind of weird looking, but you're going to braid the other side and then you have this cute hairstyle. I know I did this a lot in the summer. Well, kind of a version of this. I would do it braid here and then pin it, but I like this. It's kind of reverse of what I did in the summer and I think it's really cute and I like this style a lot because it is simple yet it is very, I wouldn't say elegant, but I think it's fun and it's kind of indie, which I like. So yes, this is a style number one, AKA the Shelby. Okay, so please ignore the fact my hair looks like Princess Mia when she first goes to Fabio and it's like, but great, now my hair does look like that. Um, but number two is the messy bun. So I feel like this is one of the easiest hairstyles, and I do this so often, but I'm gonna just start with my comb, just kind of fluffing it out at the top. Make sure your hair isn't tangly for this, cause it will affect it. But basically, you are going to pull all of your hair up into a high ponytail. Okay, so after your hair looks like Draco Malfoy and an egg had a baby, and yes, I know it is very lumpy because my hair looks like a pregnant camel, but basically, you're just going to start twirling, swirling, and girling. Who knows what song that is and what movie it's from. Make sure you're going for a messy bun, not a ballerina bun, so you can like make it as grungy, that's kind of a gross word, but as you want, and you're just going to tie it off. You can use bobby pins, I just use a ponytail holder because I am so minimalistic like that. Ew, what was that face? Like, no one screenshot that, please. And if you do, um, go send it to my Pinterest at This Is Maisie. But basically, I'm going to then pull out some hairs in the front just to kind of make me look a little bit less like an egg. And there you have your lovely messy bun. I'm just gonna straight up say this looks a little bit better if your hair is a little lighter. Maybe if your hair is brown and has some highlights or if you're just blonde, because then it shows the texture more, whereas if your hair is darker like mine, it just kind of eats it. And I don't know why my hair looks like that, but that is style number two. And I do this a lot and I actually think it's pretty cute as long as you're having the right hair day. So yeah. Number three, we are going to be doing some pull through space buns. So once again, let's get that magical Gen Z middle part. Okay, so then I'm leaving some hair out in the front, but that is completely optional. So I pulled out the front section of hair. I don't know why I have like a weird bald spot right there. It's just like an extra part, but I am going to take this and then one of my handy dandy ponytail holders 
and I'm just going to put my hair through it and then I'm going to try to get it as tight as I can without like balding myself I guess. We don't want a receding hairline everyone because I went through a high ponytail phase as I'm sure most of us remember but that was not good and that gave me a low-key receding hairline but thankfully my hair grew back. Um, But then after you get it as tight as you can you are going to just pull it through and then floof and I'm gonna have to flip this off camera because I need to like add some hairspray or something to it. Okay, so then after you have reached maximum floofing ability, you are going to do the other side. So I'm not going to do the other side though, just because um, my hair, this is a hard style to do with my hair texture. So yeah, but this is a super cute style, especially if you have the right hair texture and your hair is thick enough. If you have thinner hair, it's not gonna work as well, but I know my hair, as you can probably tell, is extremely thick. So I feel like if I had the right texture hair, this would work. So it doesn't work for me, but I'm sure it'll look very cute on you. So you should go ahead and give it a try. Sorry for the ever-changing light in this video, but ew, why are my lips so chapped? But number four is going to be the claw clip slash, if you're one of my friends, you call it the Miss Jana because my mom, her name is Jana, and she has done her hair like this for as long as I can remember. Even before it was a trend of mama, if you're watching this, you definitely started the trend. But y'all get a glimpse of my terrible side profile for this section of the video. So basically what you're going to do, I like to start by combing it out because I don't do my hair with a part in it. You can do my, you can do your hair when you're styling like this with a part but you don't have to if you don't like to I don't like to because I feel like I side part my hair once again and I don't want to be shunned by all Gen Z so basically sorry once again you'll have to stare at my terrible side profile my non-existent jawline but basically I'm going to gather all my hair into a low ponytail and then I'm going to start twisting out kind of like how you would do a French twist I don't know if people outside of dance moms actually do a French twist but basically I'm going to twist it up and then if you have long hair like me you're going to want to twist it back down because otherwise you look like a nice right peacock so basically then I'm, I like to twist mine back down into the bottom and then you're going to take a claw clip I recommend if you have long hair like me or if you just have thick hair using a bigger one this is just what my mom uses because I don't style my hair like this but you are going to go ahead and clip your hair back and um, once again, if you have long or thick hair, I recommend using uh, like one of the special ones. But my mom uses these and she has thinner hair, so it just works best for her. So yeah, and I clip it in the back. Once again, I would recommend using a um, different one if you have thick hair, because you can see that it kind of looks like this and it looks a little musty. But that is this number four, the claw clip. And you can also just go ahead and pull out some hair in the front. I know some people like to pull it out right here. I kind of like to do that too, just because it makes your face look a little more full. And that's where my natural baby hairs are. So that that is number four, the claw clip, which looks better if you have the right shaped claw for your hair. Okay, so then our fifth and final hairstyle is going to be the half a puff down, aka the Maisie Classic. So this hairstyle, because I do it so often, my friends consider it one of my classic hairstyles, but you're going to double side part your hair, so part it on both sides, I know, I know. Um, I don't get why side parts aren't a thing anymore, because I feel like they look better than middle parts, low-key, just because I don't have a symmetrical face. Um, but you're going to part your hair on both sides, and then make sure you don't have like a mohawk going down the middle. So make sure to cut your part off in the back. But you are going to take your hair. It's going to be like this. Double side part as you can see. And then I don't know why it looks so greasy. Because it's really not. I just washed it the other day. But brush problems slash comb problems. Um, and then you're going to brush it up. And then I'm going to just take ponytail holder. I grabbed two. Wait. Gotta get the other one off. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to just pin it up at the top. I don't know why I said pin. I'm going to tie it off at the top. Make sure to get it as tight as you can, once again, without receding your hairline because we all saw what happened to Tom Felton, JK, love you, bud. But also, Brad Mondo, you shouldn't watch this video. Um, I don't even know why I'd expect Brad Mondo to watch my videos. <laughs> LOL. But then you're just going to floof your hair at the top. And you have this cute little poof. My mom calls this the puppy dog. But I really like it. And I'm pretty sure it's in style now. So, yeah. That is our fifth and our final hairstyle. 
So those were our fab five. Yes, I watch a lot of Queer Eye. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and comment down below some assumptions you have about me because I want to do an assumptions about me video just because I love watching those. So yes, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much. Make sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and comment down below. Hashtag notification squad to get a shout out in one of my videos. Love y'all so much and I'll see y'all next week. Bye. Mwah.